Hi guys, sorry I haven't been posting in a while, but today I'm going to be doing a barn tour. Okay, so quick overview. This is where it all happens. Okay, so let's start at the entrance. So if you work hard, you would drive over here and here's basically just a board that says what we do. And on it, it says shows, training, lessons, breeding, selling, boarding, hacks, and parties. Okay, so over here, there's a little pasture. And right now there's some blankets that I made on it. This one is a full one. Which is actually really cute, I really like it. And then there's this big one, which I like. And then there's just a blanket underneath it, like, oh no, not a whole blanket, but another one. And in the fields, this, that's, um, uh, that's Dandelion. And over there, that's Sam, the little donkey. And over here, this is Ballerina, as you've I don't know, yeah, so, yeah, <laughs> anyways, I'm going to just be quiet right now, but, um, yeah, so then you come over here to the main bar, um, and there's a halter on the ground right now, and then pick that up, but this is just, actually, one that I also made, it's a rope, more like a rope halter available, so it's kind of tangled up at the moment, but, yeah, and so then there's sort of grass and a path, and then, this is Hannah, and that is Debbie, and they're grooming Debbie's pony here, Prince, which is actually short for the little prince. Right. And then, over here, there's a little grooming box, and some soaps and things, and then there's just some oil. I don't know if you can see this, but it actually says healthy hooves on it. And then this is a little bucket of carrots. And then this is our, one of our barn cats, Tom. And so when you come into the main barn, um, so this is my main character, Evelyn. I changed her name. I don't know if I actually said her name in the other video, but now her name is Evelyn. And here's just a grooming kit. Like, not a grooming kit, but with doctor stuff in it. And then here's the vet, and... She's giving Evelyn towards Isaac a checkup in his new blanket. And then that's James over there, he's just helping. And she and he's on the cross ties, by the way. And so in this stable, there's actually a horse that's not here at the moment. But in all the stables, there's water and stuff. And in these two, there's hay. But I don't know why there's a halter in here at the moment. But oh well. <laughs> and so then in here, this is Coconut's stall. And that's Esther. It looks like a puppy is running under her, and she's just, you know, like, um, what's it called again? Uh, mucking out. Yeah. Yeah, and then it looks like the puppies are very interested in what she's doing, and they're messing everything up. Anyways, moving on. This is Coconut, and she's waiting outside since her stable's being mucked out right now. And I've just put, so I used rice as horse feed, but yeah. And the trick is, by the way, guys, you know these, I don't like having these in the main barn because they look, they make it look really messy and I'm just, I just put them out here. So that's actually a really good idea, I think. Okay, anyway, so then this giant tack box. And uh, in here, this is my first level cell ever and it's not great, sorry about that. And then there's like loads of, Holters and lead ropes. And, the rope here. and then there's also some blankets in here. And this is really ironic, but there's a little like horse in the like farm. It's really cute. And then there's just a spare water trough in there. Yeah, I don't know really why it's in there, but this is just a jumble of stuff. Basically. And so then over here we have what I like to call these are what I call the loose stalls. The horse isn't in one of them at the moment, that's why I'm going to show you the contraption that causes them. 
Um, but on mine, I, I don't know if this is good, but I like it. It's basically that I put a little, like, hook here so you can, like, choose the length of it. And it just hooks on there. There's some hot blue strings still on there. So, yeah, that's how they open and close. Sorry. Here we go. Okay, so in this stall over here, this is Apollo. And he has his blanket on. And this is Peppermint. And so I'm pretty sure that someone's just going to come and attack her, which is why she's tied up here at the moment. And this is the horse that goes in the empty stall. Um, someone was supposed to be putting her blanket on. I think that they've left her, though. Maybe they were attacking her or something, but she's just tied up over here. I actually use this roof as a as a cover for more stalls. I think it looks really good. And there's just a little squirrel over here. So when we come around from that area, there's just a little feeding area. Like I haven't actually written anything on this because the chalk that I was using to write this was way too big for me to write anything int intricately. So just pretend that it's those names of horses that can't have specific things. And then this is Bessie. I The reason that her paint isn't very good is because, so uh, she was a duplicate and I got this duplicate like, uh, probably like, like th uh, three or four years ago. And I was like really little. So I painted the green shirt gold. And now it's really showing up and it looks really bad, I'm sorry. But I'm trying to fix it, and I'm going to probably give her a glow up, but I've just given her this blue for now. Sorry that it looks really bad at the moment, but she's just getting a saddle. So these saddles I made, but this is like my old model of saddle. I have a new model of saddle that I'm making soon. And then there's this ush, like saddle over there, and then there's another saddle over there with a girl. And so, yeah, by the way, this is the tack room feed room. And then that's Alice over there. And I'm not so sure what she's doing, but yeah. And then up there is another little slide course. And then you just have all of the uh, like bridles and altars and lever ropes over here. And then this is our little box with some horse feet and some whips, but we don't really use the whips very often. Anyway, hi now, so I'm just going to get the movie out of the way. But over here we have the lockers, and in these lockers there's basically not very much, it's just like in this one there's just a few things like a blanket, a towel, and a magazine. And so then there's more lockers in here, and this one's Evelyn's locker. We just got this room redone, by the way. I, I redid it. But yeah, and so yeah, there's just some things on there. And then there's a grooming kit down there. And on this side, there's someone who really likes pink and all the saddle pads. Okay, so then over here, in there's just some rice, which I use as horse feed. It's like a horse feed bin. And then up there is a notice board that I really like. And then there are some feeding light spoons. So then when you come over here, you see like a little table. And there's a little plant on it, and then there's some apples and a knife to cut up the apples for the horses. And then there's also some, some horse treats, and there's actually some horse feet under here. And so then there's just a bit of horse feet in the back over here. And there's also a calendar. Over here is a little shelf, and there's not very much on the shelf at the moment. There's just a little decoration, like cow thing. Then there's some horse feeds, and then there's, I think it's fly spray down there. Yep. Okay, so, and then over here is the lesson plan for today, if anybody, you know, has a lesson today. Back there, we just have some hay, and there's some apples. There's also a little tree, and one of, another one of our barn cats. Uh, this is, that's sushi. This is sushi. Um, okay, and um, so then we come over to the arena where well, this is actually going on. This is actually my biggest arena that I've ever made. Not really made, but I mean like set up because my arenas used to be like very tiny or not even have an arena. But yeah, this is like, I like to use these as mounting blocks. And so in here at the moment, there is these two who are trying to do similar, like riding like at the same speed 
like trying to go together, if you know what I mean. And so this is actually quite a dramatic scene, but I don't know if any of you have ever done it, but you know when you like can't tell a troll or something and you have to get off, then run with the horse and then get back on again? That's what she's doing, but in ga oh, sorry, in gallop. And this here is Stella and she's giving the lesson. And over here, this is, this is, um, this is Amelia and she's watching what's going on. Over here, there's just a bit of jump storage. And yeah, nothing really special about this place. There's just also a little like window over here. And yeah, and then we come into the Marin Bond and the rest of the horses barn sort of thing. Yeah. So in the first stall, we have, this is Storm, I believe. Yep, this is Storm. And she has my new halter on. It's kind of messy because I haven't been able to like fix it up a bit. But I made it yesterday. <laughs> It's not very good, sorry about that. And so then over here, that's Electra with her full Nora. And I really like Nora because I got her really recently. And she's enjoying a little carrot. Looks very yummy. <laughs> and over here we have Eleanor and her full puzzle. And not so sure what they're doing, I guess they're just relaxing. Back here, so I came up with this idea Sorry that's kind of messy at the moment, but I came up with this idea how to store my saddles, just like, because I can't actually stick saddle racks on the wall, and I don't have another, like, wall to do, so I just put this here, and yeah, all the saddles fit nicely on that. It's okay, I guess. Oh, sorry, something just fell. Okay. And then over here, this is one of my, I don't really like the stable, to be honest. It was sort of a fail. This was my first sliding door stall, and it was just a fail. But in here is a pony that I actually really like. Uh, this is Brownie, and she's really cute. I really like her. And she's just chilling in her stall. Over here, this is oh, this is Felix's stall. He's sort of tucked away because he's a lesson horse, and he is just very happy to be eating his hay at the moment. And then here, this is where Prince goes. You know, the little brown pony that we saw earlier at the wash bay. He lives in there, I'm not so sure. The door's probably just open because of that. And so then we come to the pony, what I like to call the pony pen. It's a bit small, I know, for all of these ponies, and I'm probably going to change it. And also, they're let out regularly, so don't worry, they're not always staying in this. But this is Dash. That's Butterscotch. This is Coco. That's Peanut. And then back there, that's Dinky. So then over here, there's just a little western saddle on a saddle rack, sort of thing. And then there's just a pitchfork. So now I'm coming on to the stables that I actually really like, that I made not too long ago. But yeah, so it's another little cat room and feed room. So let's start over here with the pig. So this is a Wilbur and he's just sniffing the hyacinths. And so then there's like some halters here on a little hook. And then here on the shelf, there's some horse feed, removal buckets, fly spray, towel, treats and apples. Back there, we actually have a few bridles and I think that's also a martingale. And up there, there's a little shelf and there's just a riding helmet and a bucket. Then over here, um, there is a little shelf with some supplements and some brushes, and here's an old model saddle of mine. It's actually the wrong way around, but yeah. And then, um, then there's just these old, like, hay feeders where there's just a bit of hay inside, and you see, it's kind of hard to get out. Yeah, I need a bit of time to get that out, but it does come out. Now let's move on to the stables. I really like this, but yeah. So this over here, this is Cookie, and she's in her stable. She's a fjord, and she actually has a hay net that I also made. If you want a tutorial on my hay nets, then just say, because I really like making those. But if I just move her back, um, not just let her eat her food, but yeah, it has the same net contraption. That. And this stall has a sliding door. 
Um, I like this sliding door a lot better than the other ones because of the line here. This is a lot more efficient. If you guys are making your first sliding door stable, I would very much recommend do not do this style over here because it will it will sort of like wiggle around. But this one, it sort of stays more in place and it guides it more. So I would recommend this one. Anyways, down here, there's our little fly mask. And then we come on to our next table, which is just a little loose stall. I didn't want to make it into a sliding door stall since there wasn't enough space. So I just made it into another loose stall. And in here, this is Teddy, but his show name is Troy. And he's just in his stall having a look around. I'm kind of jealous of Cookie because she has lots of food in there. And he just has a little feeding trough over here. Okay, so moving up, we have the little paddock area. So in the paddock today, this here, um, this is a muffin. And then this is one of my favorite horses actually. This is um, Cascabella. And she also has a fly mask on. We're really ready for the summer with all our fly masks and fly sprays. And here is our retired stallion. She's by the way also retired. And he also has a fly mask and a blanket on. And then back here we have some foals that don't have mommies. It's really sad, but they just live here. That's Squash, and that is Simi, short for cinnamon, by the way. And then there's some hay and a little water trough. And yeah, by the way, guys, back here there is just some shavings and some bridles. I don't know why, but yeah. So by the way, guys, just before I finish up. There is actually one last thing that I want to show you guys. It's up here. This is the office. I forgot to show it to you. But it's quite cute. So let's stop. So there's just a little magazine over here. And then there's a little cup. There's also a little bone here. It has some blue tech on it so people can hold it. But just ignore that. Then there's some doggy food bowls over here. And a cat food bowl with some milk next to it. Here's some extra firewood. Over here on this cute little lily pad coaster is a little cup. And there are some kittens, which I call sashimi and maki. Those are, by the way, types of sushi, because they're mom's sushi. They're yeah, wrong, I kind of. Anyways, here we have some shelves with just some books, some cute little, like, accessories, some files. And then up right here we have what we want. So there's a cup or thing, and then there's some ribbons. Over here, there's also a little painting that I drew. And here's a little desk with some roses. I don't know, like that. Then, believe it or not, but I actually printed all of my horses a registration form that has their breed, their name, their owner, and their gender. And, and I'm not actually kidding. Hang on, let me show you. Let me take one out. I'll take two out so I can show you, but. This is nine girls, which is a different, she's not in the stable, but these are like, Almost like horses. I, I got a few more since I last did this, but this is Twinkles. So, yeah. I swear that they, seriously, they do all have something on them. And so then over here, there's a little fireplace with some firewood and more magazines, a little statue, a cupcake, and a drawing. And yeah, so that's the end of that. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like me to do any tutorials, just shout and I will make sure that, that happens.